So good morning, good morning. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, bum, ba, da, de, 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 ba, 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 bum. That song, of course, is the song Exodus, which many people associate as being the name of the second book of the Bible, which we are starting today. But in actual fact, the Hebrew word for this second book of the Bible, translated into English, is the word names. Names, which makes sense, actually, because in this book, the Jewish people are forging their identity, their name. In mental health, of course, names are important. We start when we meet somebody by asking them their name. Then we get a bit deeper. We ask, who are you? Now, interesting, some people have a hard time really answering that question. So over time, we begin to look a bit deeper. We look at their DNA. We look at their parents, where they grew up, their siblings. We look at their passions, their interests, their religious background. And we begin to discover, they begin to discover who they really are. Sadly, we see that some people try to reject who they really are. They reject their identity. Maybe they're angry, angry at somebody, angry at their parents, angry at the world. And so they wind up rejecting really who they are, what really resonates inside of themselves. But unfortunately, they're in the end really just hurting themselves. So we try to look deeper into this. Healthy living ultimately means knowing your identity, knowing your name. There is nothing like a name, nothing in the world. Life will never be the same when you know yourself and your name.